Hello friends, this is a, a sofa bed or bed sofa I've had for many years and I usually use it to sleep on. The foam that makes it nice and soft to sit on or sleep on has given way, it's sunk, especially in this part here with the upper part of my body. You can see a depression here and here, that means that the the foam simply isn't working anymore. One sits here, one can feel the boards of wood underneath and it isn't uh, nice to sit on. So I want to renew this. I want to take out the foam and replace it for a new nice dense hole foam there. However, I've never done this job and I really don't know where to start. Now, here we can see that the foam is between the wood and the cover. Not like a normal sofa where the foam is inside cushions and we just change the cushions and that's it. I'm going to disassemble all I can to see how I can remove the foam. Let's go on a trip, find out what's inside this sofa bed. We have to take off all this cover all the way around to be able to get to the foam. Additionally, these spots here are these strings that are push pulling them down, and that is part of the structure we will have to remove and then put back in as it was. This dust that comes down from underneath, it isn't earth, it isn't dust from the air. It's the sponge that is degrading. The foam has degraded. Here you can see it, the natural color of the foam, brownish, and it's lost its structure. Okay, we finished with the bottom side of the sofa. Now we have to get out the, the back. But <coughs> the back doesn't have little nails around here where we could get it loose. So it seems <coughs> that our only option 
is to get it off here, then get it off here, and go around there. But it's strange, but it doesn't seem to have a, a way to get at it from there. Let's see what happens. Now that we took these nails off, these clips, whatever, now we can lift this up and we can take off these and with that we can take off the cover. And of course we have to take these off also, but I think that we have enough access here to get them off all. Just two of them on each line. Okay, I removed the cloth here and I've removed the, the strings and I only need to take off some staples here on the other side and then we can get the, all the cover off. Now we remove the foam we have to take some measurements. For example, how thick it is. Here we have nine centimeters and here it is. It isn't so squashed. We have nine, nine point five. Hmm? So probably this was a ten centimeter foam. The other measurements we have to take is the length on the outside of the wood frame. One hundred and eighty centimeters, seventy one inches. And the width, 91.5, 92 centimeters, three feet. This is the foam as it's sold in the market here. It has 158 centimeters wide and 195 centimeters long. That is 77 inches length by about 66 inches wide. So we are going to have to cut the edges to do the size we need and we're going to cut it through the middle to separate both blocks. Okay, this is the center cut centered between both sectors. It goes right through the middle of this hole here. Now this cut doesn't get to the end here. We have to respect this sector that we don't have to cut it. The cut goes through from here to not to the end over there. Over there we have the same situation. We have to respect this part and not cut it. Then on the other side, we are going to have to do a cut like this along this line to be able to introduce this mechanism and it stays lodged inside there. Hmm? The same on the other side. Additionally, after doing this center cut, we have to cut a diagonal on this side and on this side so when the seat go get to the sofa form then it doesn't crimple up here and it can uh, move easily and also i'm going to cut off this edge just a small bit of this edge all along so that it has a sort some sort of roundness here
The following step is putting the cover over the, the foam. And for that, we have to introduce these uh, strings into the foam to be able to tie it on the other side. For this task, I made a needle out of a brass wire. I squashed it on one end. I made a hole through it, two millimeters. And with this needle, I will be able to get the strings through the foam and also put new strings where it's missing. And before doing that, we have to mark every point along the foam here and on the back so that we uh, get the right positions. And we have to start, first of all, with this line, making a hole there and putting a string onto the other side. There and all along that line, after that there and all along that line, and so on. And this bit of stuff, we have to push it in between there to get it onto the other side to uh, stick it over there. And as this joint here, where they come together, these two bits of foam, is very tight, I'm going to have to do a cut, just like I did a cut there, I have to do a cut under here so it doesn't go in too tight. And it can't be too big, the, the, the cut, or we'll have a hole there. So it has to be very precise. Here we must be very careful in positioning the entry of the, the string where it coincides with the design but as well with where the cover is uh, stapled on, hmm, on the edges so that we don't move it around in the wrong position and as well the angle it takes should coincide with where these boards are. Otherwise we won't be able to uh, tie it up there. If the string comes out here in the middle, we won't have a way to tie it there. And this is a, a very delicate, difficult part to catch every single string in the right position. Before we start putting on the cover and the threads, we have to fix the foam in its position. Hmm? Because not only my cut wasn't very good, but with time eventually this will start falling down and it will have a, a thing there. Hmm? So we have to staple it against the wood and for that we can use a staple gun, professional staple gun. This is not essential, you can use an office stapler, but the office stapler allows us to use these kind of staples that have small legs, but with the staple gun we have these long legs. And this, is, this can be a difference after some time.
<coughs> well, that's it. Now I can bounce on the sofa and all feel the wood below. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Now I can lie down. Oh, Christ. Ah, nice to have a rest now. After so much work. Oh. That's it. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave your comments below and thanks for watching. Bye bye.